The sight of a lithe, slim raptor slowly quartering low over the countryside is always one to raise the pulse. But how can we tell if the bird we are looking at is a hen harrier, or perhaps its rarer relative Montague's harrier? All the harriers are elegant birds, larger than a kestrel or sparrowhawk, but slightly smaller than a buzzard, although far less bulky. Of the two regular grey harriers, by far the most frequently encountered is hen harrier. This is a species that may be found any time of the year. Some 550 pairs breed in Ireland, Scotland, Wales, Isle of Man and, barely, in England. Principally, they're found on upland moorland, in young conifer plantations or rough grassland. In winter, the birds can be found anywhere, but preferring rough grass, coastal habitats and lowland heaths. Numbers are supplemented by continental birds. Hen harriers habitually fly low and buoyantly, back and forth, hunting for prey. The wings and tail are long, with the wings often held in an upward V. The males are stunning silver ghosts, pale and elegant. A pale silvery grey with a white belly and white tail base, or rump. When seen well, there is a distinct hood of grey, which abruptly ends before the white chest and belly. The females are, as is so often the case with raptors, slightly bigger but they still display the typical shape and behaviour of the males. Their overall colour is brown above, with a very obvious white rump, and they're whitish below with heavily bars and speckles beneath. The overall impression is of a coldish, greyish brown bird. Juveniles look most like females, but the ground colour is an ochre beneath. It can even show rusty tones, but it's always streaked heavily with black. The underside of the hind inner wing is noticeably darker than the outer wing, still showing the five fingers of the adults. Montague's Harrier is a much rarer summer visitor. Small numbers can be seen on passage in April or August and September, but a tiny number breed each year. Sightings are concentrated around southern England, focused on the Wiltshire and the surrounding Chalkland, where about seven pairs breed each year, and the Lincolnshire Fens around the Wash, where a similar number of pairs occur. Other occasional pairs can turn up around the country, and some are well publicised and watched. Even more than Hen Harrier, Montague's Harrier is a very slight, long-winged, long-tailed, buoyant bird, with its flight almost appearing turn-like as the bird's quarter. The habitat can be lowland heaths and coastal areas, but Montague's Harrier is much more likely to be seen over farmland in summer than Hen Harrier, with some birds happy to nest in crops. The males share the grey ground colour, the black wingtips and white rump with Hen Harrier, but there are some obvious differences. The smaller size and slighter shape especially the very narrow wings and proportionally longer tail, should be obvious. If seen well, a distinctive black bar across the secondaries on the upper surface of the wings is visible. From below, the male is much more marked than hen harrier, with bars on the wings and rusty markings on the wing coverts and belly. The grey on the head merges gradually with the belly, leaving no obvious hood as in hen harrier, and lacking that species' clean white belly. In all sexes, the narrow wings are key, appearing very long, and most striking is the length of the hand, from the wing bend to the tip. The tip often appears pointed, but when the fingers are spread, there are four rather than five fingers. Although this can sometimes be hard to see, this difference between the two species is definitive. The females are brown above and paler below. The brown colouring and very long narrow wings can make the bird look like a giant nightjar. The underside has a white ground colour, heavy black markings, although the clear, pale bar on the secondaries, an area that tends to be much darker and indistinct in hen harrier. The speckling of the chest and underwings is of a much warmer rufous brown than on hen harrier, and both adult female and juvenile Montague's harriers have a distinctive head pattern, which can be surprisingly noticeable, a narrow white supercilium, which meets up with a clear white crescent stripe below the eye. This white face mask is a really useful feature to separate female and juvenile Montagues from hen harriers, although do bear in mind that hen harriers can show a faint shadow of this face mask. Juvenile Montagues harriers also show a distinctive, rich, rust-coloured underside, completely different to the buff ochre ground of young hen harriers. And in addition, juvenile Montagues underparts are unmarked, as opposed to hen harriers speckled and streaked chest and belly. Combined with Montagues' long wing shape, This colouring should make Montague's juveniles easy to pick out from hen harrier. There is a third species, pallid harrier, which is an extremely rare migrant, and it does share many of the features of Montague's harrier, 
especially in the non-adult plumages that these birds are invariably recorded in. We shall return to this species in a future set of workshops on rarities.